Welcome back to Lower Keys Living. We are well into lobster regular season, which opened on August 6th. And we are back to our routine of having lobsters two or three times a week down here. They're so abundant right now, easy to get. And this is our favorite way to prep lobster for dinner. Half stick of butter melted, some minced garlic in the butter. Um, on these, I euthanize these. This is just how I do it. These have already been euthanized. I just take a good sharp knife right behind, midway through the carapace, and just split it forward right between the eyes. Then I flip these upside down, let them drain in the sink, get all the water out of there. And that's why you see there's not a lot of water coming out of this one as I split it. And really the bigger lobsters, I love cooking these whole. There's so much meat in the upper body, which you'll see in a minute. Can never understand why people just waste that, rip the carapace off, toss it away, and not take advantage of it. On the smaller ones that we are just doing the tails, um, I do take that carapace, and if you watch our other videos, those I freeze, then I really smash up with a, with a sledgehammer into small pieces, put that in a Ziploc bag with some water, refreeze it, and it gets added to our chum bags. The lobster pieces sink nicely, gives you a good three-dimensional chum line. So don't waste those upper bodies. Uh, freeze them, smash them with a hammer, put them in a freezer with some water, and just stick it in your chum bag and you get a much, much nicer chum line. And I really like it because these really sink um, a lot better, the lobster pieces when I'm chumming with that. And get stuff in a draws, the um, hogfish that I like, and grouper, I love these. So it's a good way to draw grouper hogfish into your chum line. And here you can see how much meat is in the upper body here and why we don't waste that and just cook these whole like this. They are super easy to clean out, just a quick rinse under the faucet, um, super easy to devein, gives you a nice clean lobster to lay out on the tray. And splitting them, Super easy to split these right down the middle, both sides. Um, again, this one was already nice. So there's a hole there that I can start in. Just go right down. Sometimes the uh, top of the lobster tail, that backside, gets a little tough to get through. Uh, especially this is not the sharpest knife I'm using, but I don't use our good kitchen cutting knives to do these. Uh, just wear the knives down. But again, just split them right on down. Um, all the way through. I get all three of these cleaned up, laid out on the baking sheet, and then we start prepping them before they go into the broiler. So here we are, our three lobsters laid out, ready to go. I just coat these with the butter and the garlic, adds a really good flavor um, to it. I love the garlic on top of that. The butter helps lock in your moisture. Um, keeps them nice and fresh and from drying out while they're under the broiler. The key limes, we've got a few key lime trees. We always have an abundant supply of key limes and it's amazing how much juice they pack and I just love adding the citrus flavor to these when we cook them. So use as much butter, garlic as you like. Um, again, I am overly generous with, generous with the garlic that's in here really goes through the whole lobster when you're cooking these like this. Key limes for such little fruit, it's amazing how much juice these little, little guys pack. Um, we use them all the time on our lobsters and it's love having the key lime trees. They end up in most of our drinks. Uh, use them regularly. Pretty lucky, we've got key lime trees, we've got lychee trees, we have mango trees, of course the coconut trees and banana trees. So pretty good supply of fresh tropical um, fruit here at the house. Uh, super, super fun part of living down here is the stuff that we can grow. A little different from where we came from, our ranch in Idaho, totally different vegetables, great for producing vegetable crops, crops which do not grow really well down here in the heat of the, cellar, of the Florida Keys. These, they are ready to go. We just broil these on high for 18 minutes. Might be a little longer for some bigger lobsters, a little shorter for the small ones, but that's it. There are your cooked broiled lobsters. You can see how much meat is up through the bodies and why we don't waste it. So if you haven't tried doing it this before, give it a shot. I think you'll like it. We enjoy them this way. And again, it's super easy prep work on these. Thanks for visiting. We'll see you next week in the lower Florida Keys.